What's going on, people? My name's Timmy Joe, making videos about computers. It's a real computer, right beside me, right here. All upon the internet, and today on the program, you see before you beautiful, complex computer builds. It looks lovely, it looks amazing. But as I'm sure I've already spilled the beans in the description or in the whatever, in the, in the thumbnail, in the clickbait, I made it myself. Made this computer case 100% from scratch for under $20. That's right, you could have a beautiful computer case like this with a little elbow grease, a little bit of uh, direction from your old pal Timmy Joe, and a little trip to the dollar store. Would you believe that? The dollar store. So, I'm gonna get all about how I did this in just a second, but uh, first off, redbubble.com, whatever, go in the description. The, the link is actually there. It's like slash watch Timmy Joe or something like Timmy Joe. Get one of these motherboard masks. I made these, it's a socket A motherboard mask. It looks awesome, it's not that expensive. Go check it out, or if you don't like masks, I'll put it on a shirt. It's a socket A shirt. I have all kinds of funny little shirts, making fun of AMD, Navi, chiplets, stuff like that. Check out my Redbubble store, go buy a shirt, it'll be fun. And then, you know, we'll get to this right after this intro, and then another sponsor spot, you know, for Be Quiet, because why not? So, cue up the intro, cue up the thing, and then I'm gonna explain all about how I did this and how fun it really could be for you to build your own computer case for less than $20, like legitimately like 16 bucks. Check it out. The Pure Base 500DX by Be Quiet is optimized for high cooling performance and is designed for those who seek low noise and high airflow all in one budget friendly chassis. The high airflow mesh intake allows the three included Pure Wings 2 140mm fans to silently cool your PC components, while the ARGB light strips at the front and interior of the case give your build that look you've been looking for. More information on the Pure Base 500DX in the description, and thanks to be quiet for sponsoring this video. Okay, we start off with some very basic materials. A sheet of acrylic I already had cut out from another build, some push pins, some tape I didn't use, this poster board. Uh, I only used three sheets of this stuff and I got it at the dollar store as you see and they had black and white. So you could choose the color of your build. Maybe there's even some other crazy colors out there. But this stuff's only $1.25 each and I used three sheets. There's a rough dimension, rough, rough you know, uh, dimensions of what I wanted to cut out but uh, based off another case. But I have this acrylic and I was using it kind of as the template because uh, I don't, had it from another build. But uh, there we go, cut this out and just want to go nice and slow with the razor blade. Want to make sure you get nice clean cuts. And then you just start uh, kind of retrofitting everything together. And uh, what I started using was push pins to kind of hold everything in place. That way I could mock things up and make sure that, you know, nothing was too big, too small. I didn't need to recut something, uh, you know, before I started gluing everything together. And we see got the acrylic on there. It's starting to look really nice. And it's actually pretty structurally sound with uh, the push pins on there so uh, I start you know making a basement and uh, you know I really just made things up as I went along here you know see I'm just making cuts based on you know whatever I thought would look good and you can see it's really starting to come together and uh, cut a little uh, slot out for an AIO if you needed one some rads in the front of the case just like a standard thing and then I cut out the back there to get a perfect little basement and uh, then I started cutting some other holes out you know some access holes for some of the cabling and stuff like that get the motherboard in there you know cut out the io shield spot and then i used a power supply bracket from another case just to make things easy for myself get a little cut out there and uh, a fan cover i had made before i used that just as a template to get a nice round hole and uh, everything's really starting to come together. I got the graphics card in there, mocked up where I should cut out a PCIe bracket and uh, tried to kind of figure something out to make this structurally sound, but uh, get everything back mocked up together. And now it's time to uh, look at the front panel for the fans. I use the, these nice round fans. They're really easy to do some cutouts with and just you know, real careful with the knife, get some nice holes. And then you map everything back up together and make sure everything's fitting nice and uh, we can just start putting things together at this point. But look at that, nice glue and this glue, hot glue held everything together really, really well. And I used uh, just some pieces, random pieces, glued them together, add some feet on the bottom of the case. I'd already cut out a spot for the power supply there. And then I'm using the fans as a template to cut the holes out so I could put them in place. There were some screws and 
uh, check out the acrylic for the front. I had this piece uh, lying around too, and I just had to make a quick cut on it. But uh, see, we used some standoffs from some noctua coolers. Get that all just screwed right in there. It went together super, super easy. Get the back fan in there. And uh, now it's time to do some cable management and actually assemble the whole case here. So uh, it's flimsy and you gotta really be careful. And I just used screws right through the motherboard, right into the, the, the foam board and everything seemed to work out fine. You know, a heavier cooler might've been, you know, a bad idea. And this power supply, you know, kind of heavy in there too. But uh, as long as you're Really careful it came together really nice nothing tore nothing broke and uh, you know make another hole here you know so I happen to need one for the 24 pin uh, you know power connector no problem make some other uh, arrangements here and it really came together I was so proud of this check this out Wasn't that fun explaining how things all went along here? And uh, you know what? It, it looks amazing and it like, like, it's legitimately like pretty solid. I am not joking when I say that if you're on a tight budget, maybe you find, you know, you don't use the components I've gotten here. Well, some of them anyways, but you want like to build a computer case on a budget because you went and got some used parts, you know, the mishmash of parts or whatever. And you're just looking for something. I see some of you guys email me these like old abomination of like uh, HP computer cases you sawed into just to get your components to fit in there. This might be like a legitimate option and all it takes is a quick ride to the dollar store. So to start off here, this all stems from me wanting to uh, one up a Linus video. I know, I know. Uh, but I saw them build computer cases out of cardboard. Him and his cronies had like a competition who could build the best one. And I was like, those look like crap kind of. And I think I could make that look way better. So I challenged another YouTuber to a build off in a, in a cardboard computer case. And then he kind of bailed on me because he's too busy right now. He might make one later on. He was pretty impressed when I showed him this. But uh, I, I was thinking yesterday about the cardboard and how that would be like kind of gross looking. And, you know, maybe I'd spray paint it to make it look better or glue some, I don't know, fabric on it or something. And then it came to me, Bristol board. This stuff here comes in white and black, actually. So you could have made a black one. It's fairly strong and it holds together very nice. It's a better than cardboard because of the corrugation in cardboard. It like really creases easier. This does not crease. Buck 50 a sheet, a buck 50. I bought six of them. I wound up using three of them. I probably could have used two of them. So there's $1, $2, $3, $4, $4.50 I'm at. Not bad. And then what else did I get at the dollar store while I was there? Push pins. Came in a hell, you know, re real handy when I was putting this thing together, mocking it up. And uh, you know what, it's like what, $1.25? So, you know, that, that, that's nothing. And then I bought some screws at the hardware store for a dollar. And then, you know, you need to get like a pretty good X-Acto knife. You can probably find that at the dollar store. And then held all together here with hot snot, believe it or not, hot glue. You probably buy a hot glue gun at the dollar store, I would bet. So totaling about $16 in materials and like, you know, glue gun, glue, stuff like that. You could get this going on. And how did I make it? Well, I did copy the dimensions of another case. I had, you know, that be quiet case. I just, you know, I was like, eh, and I had this panel already cut out. So I wanted to use that and I've, you know, made it work with the dimensions that I had, but you could like go online and find your favorite case and then find out the dimensions of it. They always list them on the product website. So it's not like you have to have the case to try and mock something up from your favorite company or whatever. People were saying this looks like an NZXT case or maybe a Corsair crystal case on Twitter when I sneak previewed this thing. And I legitimately like, thank you. Cause that's what I was going after. It looks really awesome. Got that nice uh, acrylic in the front. So, uh, you know, all the trip to the dollar store and then you need the acrylic, which I covered in another video, $8 a square foot, I can get it cut up at my local hardware store. So uh, basically like there's like $12 worth of acrylic on here that they pre-cut. Well, like pre-cut this front panel from a broken one that I had done before. And then, you know, some screws, a couple of hardware bits I had lying around and voila, the case is built. I really just kind of went as I went along, I just kind of like Jimmy rigged it or I like winged it. 
cut things out. I'm not really a plan kind of guy. I like to just build and if something doesn't work, I'll recut it. It's fine. You know, and that's what happened here. And it essentially looks like a real computer case, does it not? Got some ARGB fans in the front, in the back. As far as cooling is concerned, or if you're a little bit worried, I got Heaven running here and it's been running for a while. We got a 1600X running at four gigahertz here. It's, uh, well, it's at like 70, 70 to 80 degrees. But that's because I only have the Wraith Stealth on it because I was a little worried about putting a big tower cooler in there with the weight that the graphics card already had. So uh, I have an anemic fan on the CPU. It's not really its fault. There is heat coming out of here though. We got three big fans intaking and only one out. And I kind of did that on purpose with a little bit of holes I put around the graphics card area. The graphics card is running at uh, 71 degrees, so perfectly fine for this RTX 2080 Ti. And I feel a little bit of heat coming out of those bottom vents. Got the nice Be Quiet power supply in the power supply basement. And everything's pretty rigid. And I was just able to like, you know, mock things up and screw holes through the, peg, the, the foam board. And, uh, you know, secure it all together with the uh, little push pins here. And then uh, once I was ready to go, I just put some hot glue in every single corner. The hot glue doesn't really look too bad because it's see-through and this is white. It might look a little bit worse if it was using the black version of this uh, foam board, but uh, I think it really turned out amazing. Like, legitimate. And I'm saying you could build this and leave it on your desk. Like, what, 90% of people, maybe 80% of people build a computer and never touch it again, never open it up. They're not the, you know, upgrading, you know, you know, always messing around with the computer stuff, people that we are. So if you're just looking as a project to build a computer case, here it is. I found a little button switch and I soldered a wire onto it that leads to the motherboard. You know, there's no front panel IO or anything, but that's something you could definitely add with a quick trip to Amazon for the right cord, you know, and then plug it in on your motherboard. There's all kinds of uh, stuff you could do with this. You could definitely secure things a little bit better. I use push pins to secure this glass in the back panel on, but maybe you could come up with some way to use some sort of pins or screws or something like that. Your imagination could run wild. I only spent about four hours building this, you could spend six and have a legitimate, really awesomely constructed computer case at like for legitimate, like legitimate, under $20. It's pretty cool. So I'm at Watch Timmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. This has been the Timmy Joe 5000. And 100%, uh, I would seriously say you could build this computer case and use it. And I mean, unless your computer components are getting to the you know temperature level of combusting paper, which they should definitely not be getting that hot, then there's no real risk or problem, you know, as long as you make some airflow and make it happen. I've seen way worse from you guys sending in like, you know, cardboard box computers, you know, uh, shoe box computers and stuff like that on my uh, Roast My Rigs episodes. This is legit. I'm very proud of what I did here. And, uh, you know, it only took me, uh, you know, four hours and about 20 bucks at the dollar store. And I don't think anybody can complain about that. So uh, thanks very much for watching. Check out the sponsors in the description. Check out uh, my masks and my shirts in the Redbubble store. If you, want to, if you want to do this, I would love to see you guys email me if you do this or if you've ever done something like this. Uh, me at timmyjoe.com or timmyjoeroastmyregs at gmail.com. Hey, seriously, I'd love to see what you guys have made out there, but this is so much nicer than what Linus did, as far as I'm concerned. And if Dawid, if you wanna go ahead and make one of these and uh, one-up me, I'd be all about it. I'll do a follow-up. I'll make like an insane, in, way more than, I don't know, I'll do something crazy. So thanks very much for watching. Keep it sleazy and uh, be safe out there. And I don't know, I'm gonna enjoy my computer. Let's play some video games. <laughs>